Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on the channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? Acide hot. Guys, talking about the gist acide hot. It's been drama, drama, drama on the social space with Motati Wendy Madiba because of her birthday celebration. You guys know how it is already on the social streets. Once a housemate is celebrating her birthday, one or two drama must come with it, especially with the trending housemates. Most of the housemates who are trending housemates, once they are celebrating their birthday, people would want to find fault, especially with people they are close with. Oh, this person did not wish this one. Oh, that person did not wish that one. You know, all those kind of talks. So with that of Wendy, right, they started off with um, Tabang. They were like, oh, Tabang, because people have been waiting to see sweet message. Because her last birthday, Tabang posted a sweet message telling her that, I promise I would always get your back and it has been like that and I will never stop having your back. You know, their siblingship, right? So, and now this season, that's this birthday, this year's birthday, fans are really anticipating to see the write up, the sweet write up um, Tabang would actually use for Mutati Wendy Madiba. Even I myself, I shared one on one of my videos when somebody was saying, Tabang, I used to sleep in, it's your sister's birthday, we've not seen you post, other people are wishing your sister well, you should be among the first peeps to wish your sister well. You know, people were calling up on Tabang, you know, not even knowing what is going on. You know, so they were saying that, right? And then guess what? That's about Tabang. Something has been revealed by Tati. Watch this video to the very end so that you would see for yourself. Yeah, something about Tabang has been revealed. Meanwhile, another one they've been talking about was about KJ. Of course, you all know why they would talk about KJ because um, Kanaga Jr. and Tati was a thing in the house. And then to show we don't understand what was going on. That aside, whatever was going on. So um, during KJ's birthday, you would see Tati wish, post, and all of that. You see them interact once in a while on comment or a certain picture. You know, you see Motati Wendy Madiba promoting KJ's um, brand. Not once, not twice. Even on her stories and everything. So fans are like, why has KJ not posted, um, what's her name, Motati Wendy Madiba? What is going on? Why has he not posted her? What is really happening? What? Tati, at this point, you just people were just saying a lot that Tati has been the one, um, KJ has been the one on the receiving end when it comes to his friendship with Tati, that at this point, Tati should choose herself first. These are the things happening on the TL. First off, let's take them bit by bit, okay, so that you follow up on how people have been reacting and what Tati reviewed about Tabang, okay? So let me start from here. First off, somebody said this about Tati. Before I continue with this gist about the guys, let's talk about this. Somebody said this, and let's read this. So this person says, as much as I like Tati, but seems like Kuye Akuham Bekale, sometimes I feel sorry for Yena. Let's hope things will come true for her eventually. It's a mixture of English and language, but I get it right. I understand what this person is trying to say. This person is trying to say Tati is not put up together. This person is trying to say Tati is really not doing well for sure. This person is trying to say Tati is really not paving ways for herself. You feel sorry for her. On to what sense? Let's see some replies. This person says she is a forest trader now. And by the look of things, she's making money. And this was a but care. Her man management is also her friend. I didn't expect much from the partnership. The problem is that you all underestimate her. That's why everybody thought it's a boo, boo saving her. Her net worth since after the show is more than all South African BBT housemates. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Maybe Kosi only pass her, only her apartment is worth almost a million rand. Hmm. Okay, this person is trying to say 
Motati do not show off enough. And I remember when she was doing her Q&A, if you followed up with the Q&A during when she was saying goodbye to 25 years, she said something on her Q&A. She, somebody asked her, Tati, where are all those dreams and, and aspirations, you know, that you were showing us? What is really going on? We are not seeing it post-show. And Tati would now be like, I think I'm in a good place. I think I've been doing all I want to do. I've been thinking them all. Or do I not show my bragging right enough? That was what she asked. So it's giving what this person just said right now. Okay, let me see what this person has to say. Tati that is always working with brands, Kela Nibo Plus. She's also said that 2024 she focuses on school so she can graduate next year. Farhana said, exactly, because one time she is doing fashion, other time she is doing trading. Surprisingly, Ipileng is doing well more outside. Everything Ipileng is now is what I thought Tati would be for real. She was supposed to get a strong management that will manage her simple business and also market her for gigs. Well, her fans know the truth, but instead busy with other housemates. Why do you guys love, why do you guys dwell in comparison? Why? This one is doing more than this. This one is doing more than that. The same Tati who is always working with brand. In this month alone, she works with three brands. You guys expect a lot from housemates. Something you will never do even yourself. Seems like she is deep into trading now. Tati is a student and she does have a side, a side hustle. She has a new pl place, busy furnishing it. Follow her, you won't be ashamed. Meanwhile, wait. Exactly. So this thing this person said about um, um saying that Tati... Yet people actually put pressure on this house. It's something that they cannot even do themselves. You get it. People said it's something that some of you all cannot do yourself. You mount the pressure on this house. You say things even that is, you know it's not even easy to just do like that. But it's very easy to come out and say, oh, she's not doing well. She's not doing this. She's not doing that. Why you check yourself in real life? Are you even doing what you're supposed to do in real life? Check your reality. Just check your reality. This person said Tati is doing money a lot of it. The thing is she's trying to stay low key and most times people can differentiate that they think you're struggling especially if you're a public figure. She achieved a lot since after the show. The girl have a house. I mean her own house while while all are renting. Okay this person is trying to say she is the only housemate from the baby titan season who has a house while others are renting. Okay and then Talking about Tati, somebody asked her, did you enjoy your day? And she said, yes, still am. Um. You know, she said, yes, and she's still enjoying her day, you know. And then she said, um, it's okay, waiting they happen for this, my birthday self. You know, she said something like that, waiting they happen for this, my birthday. When she said that, um, she, when she said, yes, somebody and said, waiting they happen for this, my birthday. And people keep on asking, how was your birthday? And she said the best. So for some people who think she, she did not enjoy this birthday, she has actually revealed that it is the best among all. And then when she said, waiting they happen for this, my birthday, somebody asks, why can Aga Junior no wish you happy birthday? I see you're having too much fun, Tati, as long as you're happy, my babe. Now, that is the thing. Every move she makes, people are asking about TJ, um, KJ, KJ, KJ. Meanwhile, I told you guys she revealed something about Tabang. Now, after her birthday, a day after... She posted this on her IG story. I saw this one with my two eyes. She says, thank you guys so, so much for the love and the birthday wishes. I am highly grateful. At Yaya Wanda, that is Yaya of her season. At Juicy J Official, that is Juicy of the Javon Ship. At Lerato Modise Worldwide, that is Lerato Modise of the Siamashu season. Lerato of Papa Ghost. Tabang Magzi, that is Tabang Ma Mazubuko. And then others. Now, where I'm going to focus on is Tabang. Shout out to you guys. Last night was a jump. Now, remember people have been calling on Tabang. I told you guys earlier on this video that we actually discussed something about Tabang that Tati reviewed. Now, you see Tabang did not post her. But you don't know what he did behind the scene. That is it. You see, so when people saw that she mentioned Tabang, they were so surprised. You know? Those who have been making jest of the sibling ship and they were like, you see, we said it, the sibling ship will not last. We said it is fake one. We said it is this. We said it is that. So when she made the post, made the revealing and Tabang name was there, people were so surprised. 
like yo the fans now that was when the fans now have mouth to say as um this tabang big brother tkm says i told you my siblingship are the best sister when private with their friendship relationship you all only know the beginning of the friendship but can never know the end of it and nothing in this world will ever separate them till then peace out so the fans are happy now they are like you guys would only guess They've actually removed their siblingship or whatever they have from the eyes of the public. They have chosen to do this one private and that is the best. All right, coming from Lala, the inboxes I got yesterday, people asking if they are still close. You guys are hilarious. Even me too, I received several DMs asking if there is a fight between them. People are so hilarious, truly. People don't understand that all, people don't understand that at all. Shame. Social media. Is too toxic and they decided to remove themselves from that this one said exactly tabang doesn't like the toxicity surrounding his name i remember saying their siblingship is one of the most genuine friendship out of bb franchise and is not for social media unfortunately people don't get that because it is rare and different from what they are used to which clouds friendship the wisdom that God gave them to go private with their friendship is everything so fans are like saying that people do not get to understand the fans of um Tabanga and Tati, they are like people were coming to their inbox. I told you guys how people were, you know, mentioning their name. So we're making jest of their name that sibling ship in the mall. You know, now the fans are like they just choose to go private and that is the best thing ever. Because why? People would always want to have a say. And that uh, they think it's gonna be Tabang's idea for keeping that private because why? There is so much toxicity on the social streets. People want to drag oftentimes. So it is better they go private, do their thinking. If you're close with each other, they are the one that knows. Meanwhile, there was this time I shared their live video. It's not even up to a month. Yes, it's not up to a month. I shared their live video when um Tabang and Ipleng was trying to have a space, something, something, a, a particular um, gig somehow. So I shared that then too. So I think they are really very cool. Even when people were coming for Tabang, I went to the story. I did not see anything, but I do not feel they had ish. I do not feel they have ish at all. So it's so sweet to see that the friendship or the siblingship Tabanga Mutati Wendy Madiba have in the house is still strong. Now next year would have to take their words back. That is just how it is. Anyway, trace guys, on this note, I'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies. <laughs>